Hello, my name is David Silver. I am a software engineer here at Kodiak, and in particular, I work on our planning and controls team. So we are writing the software that helps the truck figure out where in the world it wants to go. And today, I am going to be answering questions from the internet about self-driving vehicles. Would you trust a self-driving car to take you everywhere? I hope to trust a self-driving car to take me everywhere one day. I think like right now, self-driving cars are just starting in different cities and I've ridden in some of them and they're amazing. And it's so cool to get in this car and be all by yourself in the back seat and have the car take you anywhere you want in a city. It's not quite there yet, but it's coming. How do self-driving cars interact with construction crews and emergency vehicles? In the city, you might be able to route around a construction zone to take some other street so you don't have to go through the construction zone. But on the highway, you often have to just drive through the construction zone and navigate it. And that's a big part of what our truck does is it reads construction signs and figures out which lanes are closed and if any of the lanes have moved due to construction and then navigates through that construction zone slowly and safely in order to get where it's going. Serious question, when will we see full self-driving trucks? I hope that we see full self-driving trucks really soon, as fast as we can get them out the door here at Kodiak. We already have self-driving trucks driving themselves with a human safety driver behind the wheel in many, many different states across America. And what we are working to do very quickly is to be able to get those self-driving trucks to operate themselves without any need for a human safety driver and to be full self-driving I think that over the next five to 10 years, we will see Kodiak self-driving trucks expand across the United States, delivering freight driverlessly from ports to warehouses and distribution centers cheaply and efficiently and safely, most importantly, anywhere in the world that people need it.